All right, so now we're going to do the transform tectonic plate boundary simulation. So we're going to choose the arrow pointing upward, and then the arrow pointing upward then selects the arrow pointing downward. So we're going to see how the transform fault boundary moves over time. So yet again, be very familiar with the legend. So with the transform fault boundary, the plates grind past each other. All right, so I'm going to pick a time yet again. It's going to be 20 million years. All right, and we're going to look to see what geologic features and events occur at that transform fault boundary as those plates grind past each other. All right, so along where those two plates are moving, one's moving upward and one's moving closer to us, we see earthquakes occurring. We see that that riverbed is separating, but water is still running between the two. All right, then we see that the riverbed on the left extends over. However, the old riverbed on the left is now abandoned. Water does not flow anymore. All right. So those are the geologic features and events for the transform fault boundary, where the two plates grind past each other. So please make sure you've completed all of your notes. And if you want to check your work, just replay the video. Thank you. One last thing I do want you to note, notice that in this, for the transform fault boundary, mantle convection is not what is causing the movement of those plates whereas mantle convection caused the plates in the convergent boundaries to move towards each other. And then in the divergent plate boundary, the mantle convection caused those plates to move away from each other. All right, so please note that. Pay close attention to that. Thank you.